Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson where you will learn all about npm packages and how you can make your own npm package and publish it over the npmjs.com website so that others can use it publicly and access to your package. This is the website that you need to visit before you can create your package and publish it. So before you start you should know what npm package is. NPM as you know stands for Node Package Manager and it is basically a tool that helps developers to manage and share their JavaScript code with others. So let's recall the previous inquirer that we used and if you remember that was also one of the NPM packages. If you just go to the NPM search package bar over here and search for inquirer, you will see that you get the first search as inquirer over here. And if you just go over here you can see you have different table of contents, you have documentation over here, then you have the codes and then you have dependencies and what are the other packages that are dependent on that and other such things such as versions and everything. So we will see how we can create our own package. So before we start you need to just sign up on this npmjs.com website. So we will just create our account. I have already done it but I will tell you the procedure. So the first thing is you need to be very careful when you are choosing a username. So the first thing is you need to select a username. So our username will be code in piece and then given your email ID. So this is our email ID and then select a good strong password. After you edit the policy you need to verify with one of the challenge. Just verify it and then hit on create an account. After you hit create the account it will provide you with one of the one time password. You just need to copy that from your email, paste it in over here and then log in into your account. If you want you can also save your password and this is what your dashboard should look like. So over here when we go to the username option you will find the packages option over here and as of now you will see that we have zero packages because we haven't developed any of the packages yet. So let's go ahead and create one of our package and see how that can be done. So if you recall our previous video lesson that was on how you can create a basic calculator with the help of the inquirer package. So this is what we did where we had our basic calculator and when we run that calculator so you know you were able to give in two numbers and then based on that you were able to select one of the operators and then you were able to perform that operation on the two input numbers. So now what we will do is we will just transform all of this into one of our package and then publish it over the npm. So just be with me and see how you can publish your package over npm and use it. So the first thing that you need to do is after you are satisfied with your overall code and you see that it is working fine as if packed and you want to convert it into a package. So after that what you need to do is you need to go into your package.json file and over here the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a new parameter that will be for the bin. So the bin field over here in the package.json file will be used to specify the entry point for an executable command. So whenever someone wants to install your package globally, so npm will create a symbolic link in the global bin directory for them. Let's go ahead and give the path for it. So the path for it will be the index.js file in our case. As you can see over here, this is our index.js file. After that what we will do is we will go to our index.ts file and then on top of it we will give a shebang, write down hash, an exclamatory mark followed by a space and then a forward slash usr which means user, bin and the environment and then giving in a space and writing down node. It is essentially required when you want your script to be directly executable as command line program and it will tell your operating system to use the node.js interpreter to run your script directly. After we have done that, now we are good to go and compile our code first of all so that the same Nine can also be replicated in our index.js as you can see over here. Now once that is done successfully, just make sure that your code is working fine still. And we can see that we enter the number and we select one of the option and then we are able to use it perfectly fine. Just clear it out. Now begins the procedure for how you can install this package with your own name. So if you go to the package.json file and you see over here you have provided the bin location, right? Now you need to provide a name for this package. If I use this name inquirer-calculator, it will publish it with this name. Now let's suppose you want to publish it with your own customized name. So let's say I want to use a name as basic calculator dash code in piece, right? So what this will do is it will publish a package with the name as basic calculator dash code in piece. Let's go ahead. And now the first thing we need to do is npm login so that it knows that on which account you want to publish this package. Press enter to login to your browser. 
And now over here, you need to provide the username that is code in piece in our case. And then the password for it. Again, it will provide you with one of the OTP codes. So we will go to the home page. And also, if you come back to your Visual Studio code, you will see that it has successfully logged in over here. And now the next thing that we will do is we will go ahead and publish it as npm publish. And here you go. So you can see that it has successfully published it on our own account. So if I go back to my account and I go to the dashboard to the packages. So you will see over here that we have one package that is published and that is with the name as basic calculator dash code in piece. And you can see that we have a similar kind of a dashboard for this package that we have seen previously for the inquirer. The only thing is that we haven't added a readme file so that the user knows what this file is about. You can see we have the code over here and it contains the same codes that we have just created. And you can see this is our calculator code over here. Then we have the dependency and it knows that the dependency that it needs to have installed before using this package is inquirer. And then you can see that dependence, there are no dependence for this package because this package has been published just right now and no one is using this package to make their own package out of it. And then we have a single version, as you can see over here, this is our current version that we have just published a few seconds ago. Now coming back over here, you can see that we have published it successfully. If you want to make a new version, you make changes to the same file, you create a new file out of it and then you can change the version numbers and then you can publish it again. There can be one more case and that is if you want to publish it as a namespace. So let's say you want to publish something like this, right? So we have seen in most of the cases we have packages where we have sort of a username for whoever is contributing that particular package and then they're given their package name as basic calculator. So you can also have this sort of a thing. I will just clear out the terminal and over here, now what we will do is we will write down npm publish but as we have a namespace over here, so what the NPM thinks of it is that you're trying to publish a private package. And you know that that is not the case. You want people to use it publicly. So what you will do is you will write down a parameter that is dash dash access and the access will be public. And just hit enter. And you can see over here that the package gets published. So let's go back over here into our dashboard. So you can see now we have two different packages, one with the namespace and one without the namespace. So both of them can be used and both of them will give the same resultant output. So with this, I hope you have got an understanding of how you can create a package and publish it over NPM. In our next session, stay tuned. We will be looking at how you can use and how you can make other people use this package and they can install your package and make it to run as you use on your own environment. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to write it down in our comments section below.